Hello everyone, how are you doing today? In today's video, I will show you a new custom node for Comfy UI, which will allow you to swap faces easily and really fast. In the description of this video, there will be a link, a GitHub link to this particular repository. Click on it and you will reach the landing page. The project has been around for quite a while, about three months, and it is similar to reactor face however recently there has been quite a few issues with the reactor face custom node if we scroll down we can see there is a demo and in the demo it's basically going to swap this source face into this input image and here's the result i will take you through the installation and then we are going to do a quick testing of our own during my installation process, I also got about two errors. I will show you how to fix those in case you also encounter those errors. First, go to your Comfy UI installation folder and then click on the Comfy UI folder. Go into it. Next, look for the custom node folder. Go into it. And then at the top here, click once and type in CMD like so and press enter. This will open a command prompt directly in the Comfy UI custom node folder. Next, go back to the GitHub repository link and then click on code, copy the code. In your terminal where you have the custom node, type in git clone and then paste the link, press enter. This will clone the repository. Basically copy the repository from GitHub to your computer. Next, in the installation guide, it tells us to type in python install.py or if you are on Windows, you can also type in install.bat directly in the terminal. If you want to double click on it, that also will work. So go back into your custom node folder in the explorer and then look for comfy UI insta swap folder. Go into it. In there, there will be the install.bat. Double click in order to install the requirements. In my case, it installed pretty much instantly because I already had the inside face Onyx OpenCV Python as well as NumPy installed on my system. If you've installed Instant ID in the past or if you've installed IP adapter, that as well, you should have inside phase Onyx already installed. Now next in the installation guide, it requires the C++ build tool. And this comes from Visual Studio. But like I said, if you already have Instant ID or IP adapter, most likely you already have this build tools available. But in case when you're running this Comfy UI Insta Swap, and you get any errors, check the documentation on how to install Visual Studio for your particular machine. If you're having difficulty, you can go to the channel, click on videos and scroll down until you see this video here, Instant ID implementation in Comfy UI. And in that particular video, I do explain how to install Visual Studio. Now for me, I will skip step four and go directly to step five, which is to download these two models and place them in the correct directory. So simply click on the link and it will start the download. It's about 400 megabyte per model. There are two models. Now keep in mind that this Insta swap is also compatible with video node. And in the readme, you will see that we have video files it requires the VHS video helper suite. So you can pass in a video. It will automatically extract the individual frames as images and then do the swapping for each frame. Now, once the model has downloaded, go into the Comfy UI InstaSwap folder, the same custom node folder, right click, click on new and then select folder name this folder as models go into the folder again right click new and then name this folder as 
face restore underscore models. Now go into that folder and then paste those two models, the code former and GFP GAN, into this folder. Okay, so to recap, inside the Insta swap folder, you need to create a models folder and then a face restore underscore models folder. Inside the face restore underscore models folder, you will paste those two checkpoints, the models file here. Next, double click on the run NVIDIA GPU or start Comfy UI in any way you're comfortable with. As for the workflow, it is fairly simple. All you need is one single custom node. So double click on an empty space and search for Insta Swap. Add the node. And now you will see that it requires three input fields. And then we have two output fields. The input image is just a load image node that is going to be the body basically that you want to use. And then the source image is going to be another load image node. The source image is going to be the face that you want to copy and paste on the input image. Now the face model from the input side and then we have a face model from the output side. This one is used when you want to do some chaining. Let's say you have two different person in your final image, then you can use it to do some kind of chaining. So you take the face model output from the first one, you pass that over to the second one like so. Otherwise the image output is the final image that you get. So the after the face swapping basically. Now also important to note, if you do not see any of these models here, then you will need to go back and check your directory. So make sure that you've pasted those models, you've downloaded and saved them in the correct directory. Remember models and then inside models, we need face restore models inside it that's where you're going to paste those models. Okay, so just make sure that for the face restore model, you have the different face restore models available in your dropdown. I'm going to select GFP GAN V1.4 and let's try to replicate the demo. I'm going to take Angelina Jolly, the same image, use that as my input image then just take a face portrait of, in this case, Mr. Bean and use that as the source image. So what we are looking for is to swap this face with Mr. Bean. So at the end, we should have Mr. Bean's face in this particular image. Okay, I'm going to click on QProp and I got an error. So I'm not sure why people don't test their code before releasing the code, but uh, we got module logging has no attribute status. If you have a similar error like this, that's telling you logging.status, then you can follow along. I will show you how I solved it. So go into your Comfy UI Insta Swap folder and look for instaswap underscore log underscore patch dot py and open it in any text editor or code editor that you have available. In my case, I am using Visual Studio Code, but you can use Notepad if you do not have any other alternative. Then scroll down to line 117, so 117. And on this line, there should be something that says logging.status. Just remove this status and replace it with info in all caps. And it should look like this. Then press Ctrl S to save or go into file, save and restart your Comfy UI. Now after restarting, when I was checking my CMD log, some of you may see this error Onyx and then it's asking for CUDA.dll. 
Basically, what's happening here is that the Onyx version I have installed on my computer is the CPU version. And by default, the face swap node will look for the GPU version. However, do not worry. Even if you see these error messages, the node will roll back and use the CPU version. You can safely ignore it. I'm doing another test. And again, I got the same error. In this case, it's in the file node.py. So again, go back into the Comfy UI Insta Swap folder, nodes, and then open nodes.py. Just in case anyone is having difficulty, this is the first file and this is the second file. So in this file, you will change its status to info and then open the nodes.py, press Ctrl F, you will get this search bar. It's quite standard. Even if you're using Notepad, you will get some kind of search when you press Ctrl F and just look for status. I found three instances where we had logger.status and that is what's causing the error. What I did is I changed from logger.status to a simple print statement. So here I am using the search and replace functionality of Visual Studio Code to change all three instances at once. So I'm replacing the logger.status with a simple print statement. Now at the end, this is what you should have. Just print and then whatever comes after it. So look for all the instances of logger.status and change all of them. I had three, so you will need to change all three of them. Okay, so save and then go back to Comfy UI, restart Comfy UI. I'm going to do it directly from the terminal and then I'm doing another Q prompt. Now in this case, as you can see, it worked for me and I must say it's quite impressive because it was able to transfer the face from this source image to the input image and it's quite well done. I'm going to do another test this time using Scarlett Johansson and right now I am cropping the face as a square but you can try in any other way. Just make sure that the face is the most important part of that image. So you are putting emphasis on the face. I'm going to do another Q prompt and in this particular case it worked but we just have these two eyes which is a little bit weird. So this one would probably require some Photoshop manipulation in order to correct it. Otherwise I must say that it worked really well. So that was Insta Swap. I hope it was helpful to some of you. If you've got the same errors you can follow along and you should be able to work it out. However, if you got a different error, you're trying to use it maybe five days in the future, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to do my best to help you out. I cannot guarantee anything though. All right, that is it for me. I would like to give a quick shout out to my Patreon members who has been supporting me for quite a while now. Big thank you to all of you. And just in case you're wondering, on my Patreon page, I have a free tier. So you can click on join for free and you are going to get updates, workflows and any new features are usually posted over there. So you'll be able to see it. Now, if you were to join the Patreon and support the channel, thank you very much. You will get videos like this. For example, right now I'm still recording, but I have an early preview of the Insta swap when I was doing my testing already uploaded on my Patreon. I have other videos as well over there. All right, that is it for me. Thank you for watching until the very end. I will see you in the next one.